My name is Dr. Remolina. I'm a pulmonologist. Uh, I work uh, out of Linden, New Jersey. I've been in practice for uh, 30 some years and our practice deals with a tremendous number of uh, pulmonary issues from asthma, bronchitis, pneumonia, uh, pulmonary emphysema, sarcoidosis. But unfortunately, we see a tremendous number of patients that have cancer of the lung. You know, it's important to understand that cancer of the lung is a preventable disease. Most of the time, cancer of the lung is associated with smoking. Patients that smoke have the risk of developing lung cancer. We see a number of patients in our office, and the spectrum varies from patients that have localized tumors that we can do something about to patients that have diffuse metastatic disease that we can do very little about. Our office is equipped to do pulmonary function studies, and when appropriate, we can make diagnoses by doing bronchoscopies uh, with transbronchial biopsies, percutaneous needle biopsies, etc. Uh, it is important to understand that cancer of the lung, there's a number of different type of cells. Uh, the, the most common is adenocarcinoma of the lung, uh, which is usually a peripheral mass that presents in patients that smoke. Some patients don't smoke. And also can present with metastatic disease very early. In fact, we have seen a number of patients that present with seizures. And when we, find, when we, when we study them, we find out that they have a tumor in the lung that has spread to the brain. Uh, this, can, this type of tumor uh, we uh, diagnose by doing most of the time fiber optic bronchoscopies or transbronchial biopsies. When appropriate, the patient will be referred to either an oncologist when there is a metastasis or if it's a localized lesion, we will refer it to surgeons that do, uh, that do um, surgery uh, called VATS, video uh, assisted thoracic surgery, which is a minimally invasive procedure that open that with three little openings, we can go into the into the lung itself and take out the tumor. Uh, there's other types of tumors. The squamous cell carcinoma is also a well known as patient that smoke and also presents with large localized tumors. Uh, sometimes we're lucky enough to make the diagnosis, and this one's a little early. Other tumors are large cell carcinomas. But the dreaded tumor is the small cell carcinoma, or old cell carcinoma. These tumors are very small, and on diagnosis, we assume that these tumors are already metastasized. The reason being is that the, the cells are very, very tiny, and they spread very quickly. Those patients, when we make a diagnosis, we refer them to an, to an oncologist. And we deal with a number of oncologists in the area. This, the, the oncologists usually treat these patients with chemotherapy. Chemotherapeutic agents usually are successful in controlling uh, the, the tumor at first, uh, but usually the tumor comes back with a vengeance in a short period of time. Uh, so therefore, if you smoke, please think about what you're doing to yourself. We are very serious in this office about treating patients, and we're very serious about making our patients stop smoking. Unfortunately, that's a task and it's very difficult to get those patients to stop smoking. But if you smoke, do yourself a favor, stop smoking. It is important to understand that there is a lot of other things that you can do. And if you're, more in, if you're interested in learning more about uh, cancer of the lung as well as other respiratory ailments, please make sure to check our links so that you can, uh, you can learn more about this deadly disease. Thank you so much.